you want for that picture? Not here. There's this bar that I sometimes frequent called, I, I forget. Papa's. Yeah, let's see it. Meet me there tonight. Well, well, well. I finally get to address a jury of my people. Miss Harling, you are disrupting our service. Well, 12 of your disciples, including your pinch-faced wife down there, disrupted my life. There was plenty of evidence to convict you, Bitsy May Harling. Mm -hmm. Yes, there was. And my face is not pinched. Just give me two minutes, Reverend Barnes. I need to speak my piece, and then uh, you can get back to preaching your boring old sermon. We are not interested in listening to what a convicted felon has to say. Stirring that fire was a sin that could have murdered two people. And what about gluttony, Vera? They say that's a sin, too. In fact, in Proverbs 23, it says, and put a knife to your throat if you are given to gluttony. I believe you better get a butcher knife and start slicing Sister Sinner Fat Ass. I have glandular problems. And shall we move on to one of the Ten Commandments, Brother Barnes? Thou shalt not commit adultery. I believe you've been tapping that Evelyn Crawley thing to the And that's the real reason she gets to sing a solo on Sunday, even though she can't carry a tune in a bucket. That's a flat-out <laughs> lie. My husband doesn't even have a prostate anymore. Oh. He's impotent. <laughs> <laughs> you get out from behind my pulpit. And, and Evelyn has a very beautiful voice. I didn't start that far. I am innocent. Not like most of you hypocrites. Well, speaking as the foreman of the jury, I can tell you that there was plenty of evidence pointing a finger right at you. It was me who started that fire. I fell asleep drunk while smoking a cigarette after committing adultery. Oh, my star. Sweet baby Jesus. And I need you to forgive me, bitch, my Harley. I rest my case. It's a bitch. Sorry, Lana. Sorry.